So, Evan, you know, I was always very impressed with uh, what you did with Education Superhighway. So I wanted to kind of ask you, what was the inspiration? Because I think what you did is just, I find it very inspirational uh, and tremendous, tremendous um, just appreciation for what you did. So give me a little bit behind the scene. What inspired you to do this? Uh, yeah, so, you know, it was really a, a culmination of a series of events uh, that happened, but, but it all started with me, oh, probably 20 years ago, going to a seminar uh, that was all, all about learning what is your purpose in life. And what I learned at that, that seminar was that my purpose in life was to be a change maker. And, you know, I think that's probably why I've been an entrepreneur four times and, you know, always finding problems that I can, you know, change the world and, uh, you know, really make a difference. And um, in 2012, or actually 2011, I found myself in a place where um, I had just left one of my entrepreneurial ventures. I was trying to figure out what to do next. And, and I decided that it was time to dedicate myself to, to making a difference. Um, you know, I'd been fortunate enough that I'd had enough success in my business career um, that I was in a position where I could dedicate 100% of my time to uh, actually creating change in the world. And, um, but I had no idea what I was gonna do. And then I read this book called Bold Endeavors by a guy named Felix Rowayton. And Felix Rowayton was, you know, one of the giants of uh, the banking industry. He's the guy who saved New York City from bankruptcy back in the 70s. And his book was called Bold Endeavors. And um, it was really about the importance of infrastructure in changing the face of America. Yes. And the, and the book was sort of these 10 vignettes of infrastructure projects like the Erie Canal and the Transcontinental Railroad and rural electrification and, and the impact that they had on the country. And what I took away from the book was that every one of those projects uh, was really the result of one person having a crazy vision and yep. sort of working on it and working on it until the government showed up with the money. And yeah. I said, well, that's great. Like, I, I could see that, you know, I think I could do what those people did. And so I decided to sort of keep my eyes open for, for an opportunity. And then the next thing that happened was that um, I had I was I was also at the same time thinking about well what kind of business might I start to to create impact and I was really interested in in ed tech uh, because there was a lot of talk at the time you know Khan Academy had just come out and right. um, there was a lot of talk about how technology in the classroom could change the world and I'd had a number of conversations with teachers about. Um, you know, ideas that I had for ed tech companies. And every one of them seemed to end the same way, which was with the teacher saying, so are you an educator? And me saying, no. And then say, them saying, well, probably I can figure out what to do in my classroom of my own. And, and right. yet, on the other hand, if I walked in and I said, how would you like better internet? They would say, can I get you a cup of coffee? So I knew right. that there was this problem um, because only 10% of the schools in the nation actually had good internet back in 2012. And, and yet everybody was counting on technology to change teaching and learning. And so there was this idea of, you know, changing the world via infrastructure. There was this idea of technology being able to change education. And I sort of put two and two together that there was a gap and maybe I could fill it. 